Hello guys, welcome to Civil Concept and in this video I will show you how to calculate volume of concrete in a retaining wall. Okay, so you can see here in this picture this is a uh, retaining wall. Okay, and we have the uh, data for a retaining wall like this. Okay, so calculate the total concrete volume required for a counterfeit uh, counterfeit retaining wall given below having fallen dimension. Okay, so this types of retaining wall is known as counterfeit re retaining wall because you can see here this is a counterfeit uh at the heel and the steam okay uh, at the corner of the at the edge of the steam and heel uh, there is a counterfort so this is known as what counterfort retaining wall okay so in this video we will see how to calculate volume of this uh, types of retaining wall okay so here you can see here the uh, dimension as given for steam length is 5 meter height is 3 meter and top thickness is 0 0.5 meter okay and uh, number of counterfort is this one one two okay there are two numbers numbers of counterpart in this retaining wall okay now uh, we will calculate this uh, uh, volume of concrete with the help of this website okay so www.civilconcept.com okay so let us move toward the website www.civilconcept.com okay and uh, if you uh, have a pro membership then you can go with star tools pro otherwise you can go with start tools with ads and the calculation is same okay so click on this okay so i am clicking here and you will reach on this uh, interface okay so you can see here general tools special tools coming soon tools etc okay so in general tools you have to move in the swell mechanics in number 14 okay uh, swell mechanics and after that you have to go on the uh, this uh, concrete calculator for retaining wall number e okay so click on this and you will reach on this uh, web page okay so you can see here the, uh, there is a concrete calculator for retaining wall okay now you just have to put the value uh, all the dimension of steam uh, base slab counter fort okay and dry volume uh, weight volume to dry volume conversion factor and you will get all the volume of concrete wall uh, and also with counter fort steam and uh, this uh, base slab as well okay so let us input our value okay so for steam uh, for steam we have value length is 5 meter height is 3 meter okay so i am putting here length is 5 meter okay so i am choosing here unit meter and uh, thickness is ours thickness is uh, height is 3 meter okay so i am putting here height is 3 3 meter if you have a different unit then you can uh, put a different unit like mm inch it is okay and top thickness uh, top thickness is how much top thickness is 0 0.5 and the bottom is 0 0.6 okay so top thickness is 0 0.5 meter okay and thickness is 0 uh, bottom thickness is 0 0.6 meter okay so in some case of retaining wall there may be same uh, thickness uh, at uh, at the bottom and the, at the top okay so uh, it may be 0 0.5 uh, meter and this also may be 0 0.5 meter but in this case we have top thickness 0 0.5 meter and bottom thickness is 0 0.6 meter okay now we have to put the dimension of base slab okay so i am putting here the dimension of the base slab the hill width okay so hill width is means what from this corner to uh, the steam length okay this is known as hill width okay so hill width is 2 meter okay so i am putting here uh, 2 meter 2 meter you can also put the dimension in uh, mm feet as well okay so toy width is how much toy width is 1 meter this is uh toy width is from this corner up to this steam okay so this is known as toy width okay so putting the dimension of toy width is how much toy width is 1 meter okay so i am putting here 1 meter 1 meter okay and base thickness is this is the base thickness okay so uh, thickness of this base slab is how much 0 0.5 meter so put here 0 0.5 meter 0 0.5 and meter okay now we have to input the dimension of the counter port and this is the width of counter port width of counter port is how much width of counter is 1.5 meter and this is the width of counter port so put here 1.5 meter 1.5 and this is a meter okay and now the thickness of counter port is 2 meter okay so put here 2 and input here meter and number of counter port is 2 okay so already here given uh, 2 
otherwise you can change the uh, number of control port according to your design and requirement okay now weight volume to dry volume conversion factor and this is important for civil engineers okay you have to convert weight volume of concrete to the dry volume okay to take account into uh, of a uh, shrinkage factor okay now conversion factor you can take uh, from 52 percent to 54 percent so i am taking here 1.52 it means 52 percent okay now click on the calculate button and you will get and so in a second okay so you can see here calculation result okay so volume of steam is this much meter cube volume of base slab is this much meter cube okay so volume of counter is this much total weight volume is 26 uh, meter cube and total dry volume is 39.9 meter cube okay so you can get the volume of individual component of the retaining wall uh, as well okay so for for counter for uh, counter for for steam for base slab etc okay so uh, this is the calculation and you can see how can you use the uh, calculator and also you can see the numerical how you can calculate the volume of uh, concrete for this retaining wall manually okay so you can read this article okay so in this way we can calculate the volume of concrete in a retaining wall uh, this was for today please like this video and subscribe this channel for new update about civil engineering thank you